All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Sim Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And it's a sis, Shalom, to our Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work and truth and in sincerity. I'm going to go on this topic, you know, about uh, the leap, leap, so called leap year, you know, it's not scriptural, you know. Um, you got, I've been going on this topic, you know, uh, for a minute, you know, uh, about how the leap year messes up the, um, the Friday to Saturday Sabbath, you know, um, I'm going to just go start with this, uh, you know, article. It says leap year 2016. Why does February have 29 days every four years? Right now, before I go into it, I want to, you know, go and, and show that you will never see leap year in or leap day in the scriptures. You know, you'll see leap and day, you know, but you won't ever see leap day, you know. Um, you'll never see the name of the, the, the months, January, February, you know. You'll never see those names, you know, in the, in the scriptures, you know. You'll never see Sunday also, you know. I'll, I'll, I'll bring that up, you know, uh, Friday, you'll never see those, those words, you know, and this is important, you know, because you have some people that are very simple minded, you know, when, when it comes down to this, this topic, you know, but this, this right here, it just totally messes up there Friday to Saturday Sabbath, right? Uh, it says, uh, February 29 crops up every four years, according to who, you know? It says, but what is a leap year, right? It says, why do we have leap years? A leap year where an extra day is added to the end of February every four years, right? Now, if the extra day is not a part of the scriptures, you know, then that would mean that the Friday to Saturday Sabbath falls back, you know? You, you, you'll never see the word extra day in the scriptures, you know? That means that the, the Friday to Saturday Sabbath should now fall on so-called Saturday to Sunday Sabbath now, you know? It says... Uh, a leap year where an extra day is added to the end of February every four years is down to the Gregorian calendar's disparity with the solar system, right? Now, I, I, I'm going to bring up Gregorian, you know, I'm going to who, who the, the, how the, the calendar is a Roman Gregorian calendar, you know, and, and more importantly, Israel, we went by the moon. To count the days, you know, they go by the the sun, right? It says a complete orbit of the Earth around the sun takes exactly three hundred and sixty five days to complete. But the the what well, you know, it has some, some decimals or whatever. Uh, it says, but uh, but the Gregorian calendar uses three hundred sixty five days. So leap seconds and leap years are added as means of keeping our clocks and calendars in sync with the earth and its seasons, right? Now, how are they keeping in sync with the seasons, you know? When they sit up there and say that the the the, the weather is going to change, but they can't ever tell, you know, about the, the sun, the sun don't change, you know? You can't, you can't, the sun doesn't, it just comes out, you know. Um, it says, Julius Caesar versus Pope Gregory. Uh, the Roman calendar used to have 355 days with an extra 22-day month every two years until Julius Caesar became emperor in the first century 
and ordered his Alexandrian astronomer Sosagenes, I believe that's the word, it says to devise something better, you know. Now, these are Edomites, you know, Esau, you know, the wicked, you know, the so-called white man, right? It says, uh, I'll, I'll post the link, you know, in the, the video, you know, so you guys can see. It says the system was tweaked, however, about 500 years later, you know. So how, how are we to, to say that this is the truth, man, you know. And, and this was the Edomite astronomer who came up with this, this idea for this calendar, right? And the reason why I say this is because when, when Israel was under captivity to Nebuchadnezzar and, and the other, you know, his sons and everything like that, for example, you know, Nebuchadnezzar came and, and, and told his astronomers to come in, you know, come in and, 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 uh, you know, tell him where his, his dream was, you know, and ne none of them could tell, you know, and that's the same way with this calendar, you know, it's just a, a whole bunch of man-made babble for real, you know, and I, I went into, you know, the list of, of calendars, you know, because America has their own calendar, you know, the Roman Gregorian calendar, but you have different countries like China, you know, that have that that roll on different um calendars, man. You know, we 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 running we are going off a calendar that says January the first is is the new year. With when January the first, when you're going to it, January the first was I believe on a Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. You know, if if the first of the the month was on a I mean if the first if the first of a year of the year was on hold on Salakia it's not trying to it's not trying to <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that Even with that right there, that's the spirit right there, man. It, it said, I don't even know where it came, where it went at, you know, or right here. You know, calendar, Gregorian. You know, I didn't know this, you know, until I pulled it up. You know, but you have different calendars right here, man. You know, Gregorian, the Buddhist, you know, all these different calendars, man. You know, it says first day of the week, which is Sunday. Right now, I really wanted to go into how this time, well, the 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 month of, well, the first of January was not. It I guess it it's not uh, meant for me to do it, you know, but there's many different calendars, you know, but more importantly, I want to go into this this who made this calendar, you know. And and why we it's a, a so called leap year, you know. Uh, it says uh, who invented the calendar we use today? It says the original goal of the Gregorian calendar was to change the date of Easter, right? Which Easter, you know, it's 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 in the scriptures, but it's not what 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 no bunnies and you know. What 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 Esau made it out to be, you know. It says in in 1582, when Pope Gregory the Thirteenth introduced his Gregorian calendar, right? Hold on, 1582 should should you know make a uh make sense to somebody, you know. That's a ring a bell to somebody, you know. Why did it take five a thousand five hundred and eighty two years? I guess if they if they want to say that's how how long the Earth been, you know, when we know that the Earth it hasn't been that long, you know, in 1582 when Pope Gregory the Thirteenth introduced his Gregorian calendar, Europe adhered to the Julian calendar, first implemented by Julian Caesar, I mean Julius Caesar in 46 B.C. 
right? Now, I want to go to when did the calendar begin? From the 7th century to the 12th century, started on 25th December. You know, the, 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 the so-called birthday of the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, but we know that that's not his birthday. You know, from the 12th century until 1751, started on March, right? From 1752, started on January 1st, right? So basically, when when the, the, the calendar first started, it started on March the 25th. You know, it first started on twenty on the on on December twenty fifth, right? And then it started on March the twenty fifth. And then it started on January the first, right? It says it is some sometimes claimed that having the year start on January first was part of the Gregorian calendar reform, right? So this this is confusing, man. You know how how the 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 first of the year, you know, or, or, or the, the beginning of the calendar year, you know, start on different days, you know. It says, um, who changed the calendar? It says, Pope Gregory initiated a change in the calendar by going to the Gregorian calendar and to make up for the error in the Julian calendar. Ten days were added to the calendar, Right? And, and and that's that it, like as the scripture I mean is the, the the article said it used to be 355 days in his calendar now it's 365 days right now it says uh to make up the error in the Julian calendar right it says in uh October 1582 Thursday the 4th was followed by Friday the 15th in Italy and a few other countries right so, I went to Julius Caesar, right? It says, after assuming control of government, Caesar began a program of social and government reforms, including the creation of the Julian calendar, you know? You see, when, when, when Esau took over, you know, he has the, the, the ability to rewrite history how he wants to, you know? He could change history. You know, he could change the dates, you know, and, and and the the knowledge of the Most High was not given to him, you know, at all. You know, Daniel 7 and 25, it says, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, and he shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and to think to change times and laws, right? And that's what they, that's what they're, that's what they're doing now, man. You know that they they changed the times, you know, with this 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 kind of that 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 people are following, you know, talking about the 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 day ends when it's twelve o'clock, you know. You see, this is all wicked, man. This this society, man. And if anybody who can't see that the leap year is is not scriptural, you know, or the Friday the Saturday Sabbath is not scriptural. You know, maybe the truth just not for you, man. And and that's pretty much to the point, you know. But with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Simi Awasai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And the sincere Salawam to the Akim out here that's doing it, pushing the work in truth and sincerity. Salawam.